Welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try the Wild Colonial Boy. Uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day is only a couple weeks away, and uh, we figure we'd do something for, for all you that are having pub parties and all that stuff. St. Patty's Day parties. <laughs> Alright, so this one is uh, this one's in 3-4 time. It's like this. And that's the whole song. And it just keeps repeating throughout the whole thing. It's, uh, mm, there, there was a wild cowboy, Jack the Tons of verses. So, we need a D chord, third string, second fret, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute that sixth string, don't want it. Uh, and my strum pattern is going to be down, down, up, down. Okay, we're in three, four times, so it's like a waltz, you know, it's like down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. So you accent that first down, down. So you do that two times on a D chord. Now you can go to any G chord you want. The one that I was grabbing was very simple. Sixth string, third fret, first string, third fret. I end up muting the fifth string. That's all I was doing. The one that's on the chart here that I'm looking at is got uh, also the fifth string, second fret. So sixth string, third, fifth string, second, first string, third. So that's probably the one that Emma will put on the screen. So, But uh, when I played it, I swear I was just doing this. Uh, so that's your G chord. You can also do the G chord where you have uh, all four fingers down and these, these two on the top two strings at the third fret. If you do that one too, it's perfectly fine. Whatever one you'd like. Then you need an A7 chord. Fourth string, second fret, second string, um, second fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string on that one. So you do each chord two patterns on each. So it's like a D to a G, A7, back to D. Stay on the D and start all over again. G, A7, and then D. He, D was his father's own G, and then A7, and then D, and then a D. So that's your strum is down, down, up, down. So it's a bit troubling for people to play in three, four time. Uh, you just have to feel it. So I count it like, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, da, da. So it's like that uh, when I'm tapping my foot. So it's like. And I accent that first one. So uh, that's it. That's all there is to the song. There are many different uh, versions of this, and they use different chords as E minors in there and stuff when people play it. But I like to keep it simple. It sounds the best to me. It sounds just like what I want the song to sound like. Uh, you just have to remember it's D twice, G twice, A7 twice, back to D twice. Then you start all over again. you got to stay on that D. Okay? And that's uh, The Wild Colonial Boy. There'll be a link for the sheet that I keep looking over to. And uh, it's really simple, and the strum pattern's on there. And the uke one's on the same as the guitar. So, happy St. Patty's Day. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. You know you want to. Thanks for watching. Play more guitar.